Hello everybody and um, this is my discussion a rather interesting discussion on um, basically on hell and what happens after you die um, I've got this very very good picture up that I've seen before which basically shows an example of um, what happens um, if you die without Jesus? Um, hell is a very, very complex topic. It's like um, people don't know and come up with lots of questions. People don't know what it's like. People, um, yeah, they they just they have they have a lot of questions about. Um, why it's so things like why is it so bad? Why would a loving God create such a horrible place if He loves us so much? Um, it, it, it's a it's a interesting topic. Um, there's a couple of questions that uh, I've had people ask with me before because uh, I am a Christian. I do believe in Jesus. Jesus is my saviour. Um, and, and I'm going to start with um, one. And that is ex uh, explaining why is hell so bad. And at the same time I'm going to cover the question. Why would um, Jesus, if Jesus loves us so much, create such a horrible, horrible place? Well, that's very... Um, it's very simple, really. First of all, it, we have to go back to um, in the very, 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 very beginning. Um, at this time, there was God, Jesus, and there was heaven, and this was before the universe existed. And this was a, uh, and then, and then there was the angels in heaven who were God's servants and one third of those angels decided one day that they turned against Christ and hated Christ uh, instead of loving so what then God did was created another world this world would become hell um, and, and this and this world was just completely separate from Christ. Um, it, it's like it, this world would just here on earth do we have influences of Jesus Christ. There's things in our life, elements in our lives here on earth that are there with Jesus and can only be there with Jesus. But because hell is eternally separate, this world is eternally separate from um, Jesus. Certain elements there don't exist. So Jesus, so, so God cast these souls, well, not souls, actually demons as they are now, angels are rejected, into this other world. This world that was just built as a, as a nothing world. A world a little bit just like Earth. But with nothing there. But something happened in that world then, when the, those demons arrived. First of all, it became very hot and became a place of torment. It also became a place where nobody knew each other and there was, there was, it was smelly, it was horrible, there was no rest, there was no food or drink. You know, it was, it was torment. Um, so why was it so bad? Well, I've answered the question why would God create such a place and the answer to that question is God did not intend for hell to be torturous. It did not intend for hell to be a place of eternal torment. He just intended it to, to be a world of nothingness completely separate from himself. 
Um, so it, it was like this. This world was completely separate, and because it was completely separate from God, the elements of life that exist with God could not exist in hell. There's no water because there's only water with God. So that's where the fire comes from. And there's no food or drink because you can't have it. There's no rest. So that means you never sleep there. No matter how tired you get. No matter how hungry or thirsty you get. You cannot sleep, you cannot eat, you cannot drink. There is no love, therefore you cannot know each other. Because you can only know each other with love. Everybody there hates you. And you hate everybody. Um, there is virtually no mercy. Because although the hell, souls in hell scream out for Christ, this world is completely and eternally, eternally separate from Christ. And therefore, those souls, you know, they, they, they cannot be heard. So there is no mercy. Neither is there any hope. So it is eternal despair. There is no strength. You are eternally weak. And on top of that, the smell is just rotten. It's like dead bodies, sewers, rotten eggs. The grounds are covered in maggots and worms and things that eat you. There's demons, there's uh, huge ten foot high monsters that throw you off walls because they hate you. Because you are made in God's image. It says in the Bible, because you are made in my image and they hated me before they hated you. Those are the words of God. You are made in God's image, therefore if you go to hell, the demons there hate you. And, you know, this, this was, um, this is why hell is so bad. Hell is just like a world like ours, but without those elements of life in, because Christ is not there. Christ does have influence, as I've said before, in the world on planet Earth, therefore here on Earth we do have life, we do have water, we do have rest, we do have hope. Although we do have despair and sadness as well, we do have happiness and, and hope. Because those elements do exist. And in heaven, the bad elements are completely gone. So there is only hope, there is only love, there is only joy, there is no suffering in heaven. Um, there have been also people okay, that have died and have gone to hell and they have gone to heaven and people have said that Jesus actually weeps for those souls that go to hell. It also says in the Bible that no man shall ever go there. That means not just men, that means everybody. That nobody will go there. Jesus does not want you or anybody else to go to hell. Jesus does not want this picture to be you. That's why Jesus weeps for those souls that go to hell. Because they are his creation. You, uh, um, I know all of this sounds very grim. But Jesus talks about hell in the Bible four times more than he talks about heaven. And I know this is very, very grim. And all of that. But there is some good news. And I'm here to bring you that good news as well. The good news is you don't have to go there. You're not forced to go there. Even better, Jesus doesn't want you to go there. Another um, another piece of uh, you know good news is that Jesus died for you in the most one of the most suffering suffer like the, one of the worst ways possible if you know what I mean one of the most painful and torturous just so you don't have to go to this horrible place. So you can repent and say, yes, I believe, and I turn from sin, and I turn to Jesus. 
and you can go to heaven. You can have your sins forgiven, your soul washed clean. Jesus died in a painful way. God died himself. God himself came to, heaven, to earth and died painfully. Just so you could do that. Why? Why would he do that? Why would God do that for sinners like us? For vile, horrible sinners that commit sin every day? Because God loves every hair on your head. God loves you. Every tiny part of you. You are his creation. You are God's creation. Therefore, God loves you so much that um, he did that. And he also went, um, if you look at the Holy Creed, the church is it, he descended into hell, he ascended into heaven. When Jesus ascended into heaven, he didn't, he descended into hell first. Why? Why would Jesus go to hell? To save those who were in hell from hell and take them back. Back to heaven with him. And then he ascended into heaven. With those souls. And saved them and put them there for all eternity. Because up until that point everybody went to hell. But then Jesus came and made the perfect sacrifice. To give you now the opportunity and the freedom to choose. Because before that, it didn't matter if you believed in God or not, you died, you went to hell. Everybody went there. But now God's given you a chance. And I'm finishing on that. My advice to you out there, guys on YouTube, anybody listening, is don't reject the... the Jesus Christ, please. I don't want you to go to hell. Nobody wants you to go to hell, and especially Jesus. I wouldn't wish eternal torment on anybody, not even the worst human on this planet. Because hell is horrible. Unthinkably horrible. And unimaginably horrible. And it is a very real place. But you don't have to go there. So please. Accept Jesus as your saviour. And that's my advice to you. I can't make you. I can only advise you. I hope you follow my advice. You follow Jesus. And repent. Because then you will go to heaven. If you will truly believe and truly repent, you will go to heaven because Jesus will forgive you. If you say sorry to Jesus, it is 100% certain he will forgive you. There's no if about it, it's when he forgives you. But you have to believe in him and you have to be prepared to turn from sin to do that and turn to him. For that. And I hope you take that advice seriously. And hopefully, I will see you all and every single one of you out there in heaven. And amen to that.